Hello YouTube, it's BirdoPrey5 and I want to talk to you today a little bit about City Skylines. Specifically, if you have the same problem I have, where when you want to put down a, like a cargo harbor or a cargo hub and you get this high traffic asset, but it has a dinky little two lane, one lane in each direction road attached to it, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't upgrade the road. You can't delete the road. You can't edit the road. So I went to the Steam Workshop. I'm like, well, surely somebody has another cargo hub or a, a cargo harbor, but with just a bigger road. And unfortunately, there's only a couple of options, and they all kind of suck. They have their own issues. They disappear when you zoom out. They ruin the ground level. You put it down, and what's supposed to be water turns into land. So while they technically work, the ships, the ships are going under the land to to relate to get into the harbor. So that that kind of that's kind of annoying. It really ruins the look of your city. So I kept coming back to using the default ones, but the default ones are terrible with traffic because. A two-lane, ro two-direction road is not what you want. You want a one-direction ro road, a one-way. You want a one-way road with at least two lanes, probably three, maybe six. But you certainly don't want the default road. Now, I have been having this problem for weeks and weeks, and I've been on and off looking for a solution, but for two or three days straight now, I've done almost nothing but look for the solution to this. Because I knew, I knew a solution had to exist. Uh, I, I was reading posts that dated back from four and five years ago when, the, when this game hadn't even been fully released. It was still in beta testing. And, and then the most recent posts I could find about it were still two or three years old, and they didn't seem relevant anymore. They had ideas, and none of them worked. I was... I was trying to use the move it mod I was following instructions clearly from old versions of the game none of them work nobody if you google how to put down a cargo hub or a cargo harbor with a custom road you will not find the answer not easily anyway and it wasn't until today, after following link after random link after random link on the subject, did I finally find a link to a mod called Touch This. And then from that mod, I found the link to this more updated working version called Touch This Tool 2.02. And it is created by Clyte45. Now, Clyte45... He has a Patreon page, and if you enjoy this mod, and he has some other mods for City Skylines, by all means, come and click on this link, and it will take you to his Patreon page, and you can read about him, and you can become a patron. And all, all accolades go to Clyte. He's the one, he's the brains behind this mod. I'm merely making a video about it, because unfortunately... Clyte's video is in Portuguese. So even after I found this mod, I didn't know how to use it. I was playing around with it for like 15, 20 minutes. I couldn't make heads or tails. It just wasn't clicking as to how it worked. And I finally found his instructional video, but the video was in Portuguese. And I don't speak a word of Portuguese. Luckily, by following his video very closely, I figured out how it was supposed to work. So I figured, let me make a video in English for people who might be in my position. And they want, you want a, a cargo harbor or a cargo hub or an international airport or any asset in the game that comes with a built-in road. You want your own road. You want a better road. So, here is how you do it. You come to the Steam Workshop. You do a search for Touch This Tool. You get the version 2.02 .02 or higher, whatever the latest version is. 
There's an older version, a 1.x version. You don't need that. This one is better. Uh, I will have the link to this tool in the video description. I will also have the link to Clyte 45's Patreon page. So you come to this page, you subscribe, you click the subscribe button, and it will add it to your city skylines. You also want to click on this required items, and it's Clyte's Commons. You need to you need to also subscribe to this mod as well. Both mods must be installed and then you must enable both mods in the game. You have to go into the game content manager mods and enable both of these mods before it will work. If you only enable the touch this tool, you will get an error when you try to start a game or open a saved map. So you definitely need to enable both of them. Once you have done that, we can go to the game. And now I have the game set up here. I'll resume it and just, okay, I'll, I'll unpause it. Now I've put down here a cargo harbor. And it has this very basic cross street here, Charles Street in our case. And it is one lane in each direction, but it's next to a massive farm. So we, we don't want one lane in each direction. We want a one-way road, and we want more than one lane. Okay, I like this three-lane one-way road. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to connect it to here. Well, space already occupied. So obviously I need to I need to do a little smashing. Okay. So we will bring it down to here. And I have no idea why it just went underground. And now I will say we'll connect it to here. It'll give them some place to go out. Now this is all fine and good. Uh, oh, they need water. Okay. Don't mind. Don't mind the meteor craters. Uh, you will see this map had an unfortunate, a very unfortunate meteor storm. Uh, don't don't mind the craters. Uh, the farm is working just fine. Okay. So, look at all this traffic. Look at all this traffic. It's coming through. Now, listen, it's not too bad because this map, this map is virtually empty. There's not a hell of a lot of stuff on this map. But, let's see. Look at this backup here. Look at all this backup. And it's because these are all coming into this two-way street and only one of these two lanes is even being used. So how do you do it? And it is so, so simple. Once you have the Touch It Tool mod downloaded and, and enabled, you will see this little purple uh, Touch This Tool icon here. You click on it once. It's now highlighted in blue. You bring the mouse over and you click on it. Okay? And it will turn from green to red. Once it turns red, it means it's now disconnected from the building. So you can now upgrade this road. I could even delete this road if I wanted, but then I'd have to put another road back in the same place. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and upgrade this road. So we go to the road tool. We select our three lane one way. We go to upgrade and we click, like just click left click once, and of course it's pointing in the wrong direction. So we right click now and it's pointing in the right direction. So there we go, we've upgraded the road in front of the cargo harbor. Three lanes in the same direction, mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. But Let's, let's go a little bit more advanced. Okay, now I threw down here a cargo hub. The cargo hub 
is like a cargo harbor but bigger and it has both a road attached to it and a train track attached to it and we can edit both of those using the same touch this tool so let's go ahead and I want to show you something with the touch this tool now the touch this tool works with literally any asset in the game that has a built-in road that is the cargo harbor the passenger harbor the cargo hub and the international airport there might be others I don't remember offhand but those are the four biggies I, I know of offhand and I've tried them with all of them and it works perfectly well no problem so we're not going to go over all of them in this video but I just want to show you a couple of tricks uh, so this is the cargo hub so we're going to come here and we're going to replace this road now this road it's it's longer so it's actually two segments now you want to try and click as close to this circle as you can I find that if you click if you click towards the edge it sometimes doesn't work so I just try to click near the circle sure I do okay gonna close the tool gonna click the tool again there we go clicking in the circle it turns red it turns red excellent now like I said now I don't recommend doing this but if you wanted you could now delete this road the problem of course is now that this is not connected to the highway so it's not gonna work now even if we even if we gave it power it's not gonna it's not you know let's let's do power down here it's probably gonna give us the error because there's no road connection so uh yeah no road access so that's that's a problem we've got this thing it's like well okay let's just we'll put down let's say a big massive road right we'll put down a six lane one-way road okay so let's do that and but what's their problem it's it's we can't do it okay if we if we do it there it's it's in the way of the building and if we do it where it's up here well that's never going to touch the building it's not going to it's not going to have road access so what did we do we kind of we kind of screwed ourselves however if you do indeed have road anarchy mod enabled and you can hit control and a which hopefully you do so i just hit control a now i can put a road down and it's perfectly fine uh because it allows you to you know to allows you to overlap the building just a little bit and of course the road access error goes away so if you don't delete the road you will never have that problem you can always just use the upgrade tool but if you are going to delete the road you need to make absolutely sure you have road anarchy enabled and working else you're not going to be able to put down a bigger road the other thing i want to show you and just as important is that the road is not the only thing you can uh, edit with the tool we're going to go back to the touch this uh, touch this tool and we're going to now highlight the railroad track now we're going to click it near the middle and again it turns from green to red you hear the little like uh, thud that is if you were upgrading a road and okay so now we can edit well we can really what we can do is change the train track uh, we can edit now there's really there's really only one train track option we can do is take it from the two-way and we could make it a one-way so we'll go to upgrade and now we've upgraded this to a one-way track and we see it's pointing right again you right click on it you can point it left right click again you can point it back to right 
Now, why would you want a one-way train track? I don't honestly know. I know in my cities, a lot of times, the trains come back broken. And when they break, they literally... They literally break down on the tracks. Other trains can't pass. And I'm full. Next thing I know, trains are backed up to the edge of the map. And the entire system is broken. So I'm thinking... Possibly with one-way train systems, one-way train tracks, maybe that won't happen. I don't know. I haven't tested it yet, but I know I will now that I have this option. The main, main thing was the ability to just make this road bigger, and I am so happy I found it. And I want to thank Clyte45 for this awesome mod, and I wanted to share it with all my fans because I know we have a lot of City Skylines players watching this channel and uh, it, if it took me weeks if not weeks to figure this out uh, it's I'm sure many people have tried and given up so let's get the word out there the way to do it it's here it's the touch this tool by Clyte 45 and the link will be in the description so that's all I wanted to tell you. Uh, thank you so much. Kapla. And I'd say, happy building. Yeah, happy building sounds like a good sign off. Thank you all for watching my video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Without it, you won't get notifications of new videos. If you want to visit me, check out my forum at juot.net. I'm also on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Gab. And if you're really crazy, you can send me some money on PayPal. Take care.